everybody it is day 30 can you believe it a month since i started this journey it has been something else i gotta tell you france has been uh, very tough not only did i go through um, a heat wave but the lack of accommodations and uh, places opened and uh, finding you know food has been a real challenge but I took it in stride and made the best of it and now today I'm heading to the last town where the mission now is going to be trying to find a place a post office or a UPS store or something of the like so I can send my camera back home and take some way off the trolley tomorrow I will be crossing the border with uh, Switzerland something that I've been looking for forward for the longest time and uh, yeah, it is almost eight o'clock. I decided to stay a little bit longer just so that I could have some breakfast. Today it is only uh, a 21 kilometer day. And uh, love the scenery. What do you guys think? It's gonna be like this the whole day, walking through these canyons, zigzagging with the river till we make it to town. Now let's go, let's go eat something. Or should I say late? I'm gonna go get something to eat. My pants in that dry properly, so I'm gonna have to like hang them from here. There won't be much uh, sun today since I'm gonna be walking in the canopy. Maybe it will get dry. If not, when I get to the hotel, you know, I'll do the same, I'll hang them out. You know, if I get there around 2, 3 p.m., I'm going to have plenty of light. Sun goes down here like around 10 p.m. up and down <laughs> by the river I just uh, passed the power plant a hydro plant and uh, the terrain has been uh, a little bit muddy but as you can see there are little sections where you have rocks or uh, or roots from trees and going over them with a trolley is not as easy as just uh, trekking with a backpack but this is a trade-off that I knew was gonna happen no denying that walking on the road is the best with the trolley but those days I think are behind me now I have to pay my dues it has been horrible the terrain and the trolley do not go hand in hand man and there's just water pouring down very steep uh, sections uh, with loose rock going over tree trunks oh my god and I'm not even halfway this is truly <laughs> terrible I need to find that road right away I mean the scenery is amazing but the terrain and the trolley like I said do not go hand in hand not today man I'm sweating profoundly look at that
today I admitted that the trolley ruined what it would have been otherwise an amazing hike around this gorge waterfalls I mean the forest the scenery would have been amazing but I can't be so tough on it because it has helped me so much in France that the benefits uh, far await this one day I'm almost out and then uh, definitely gotta send that camera back get rid of some of the dead weight <laughs> Three kilometers, three hours of pure madness. But I finally made it out, found this cafe, having an orangina coffee and pancakes uh, with Nutella, because I need it. Still looking forward to uh, 18 kilometers to go, and it's 11.30. But compared to that, it should be a piece of cake, or pancake, yeah. Today is just one of those days where you know you have burned like what like five six thousand calories no doubt about it this is the second mountain I mean after the gorge this is the first mountain that I climb I'm about to reach uh, the end I'm gonna go down go through a plateau and then go up another one that one should be easier than this one Technically, this is the halfway point of the day, although it is, uh, what, like one something, 1.30. Uh, man, better get to town before five. I need to find a, a place to uh, ship my stuff back home. Don't wanna keep carrying this stuff around. <laughs> Lady at the restaurant, uh, Gave me a stamp and she also gave me a, a free bottle of water. Came in handy, you know. Running low on water. I think I only have uh, half a liter left. Still got uh, eight kilometers to go. The forest, not as bad as I thought. It's been kind of flat it's just cutting right across it so that's uh that's good news uh so yeah two hours to town eight kilometers i need water let's do it And here is the second barrier, the second mountain range that I had to cross. It's like uh, France is uh, putting up a fight for me to leave, a one-two punch. I had to break through. Round two, fight. Let's do this. Villesaint.
that's how you do it. Pontarlier. So I just made it to the hotel. Hotel or little hole in the wall. Uh, there wasn't a receptionist, they just left me the keys uh, with a note with my name. I just took uh, the best shower of my life. And uh, right before I got here, I got a pilgrim stamp at the tourist office. And I also went to the post office where I shipped back my camera, my two trekking shoes, the clamp, uh, and a few accessories, including battery, charger. All in all, I took about five kilos or what, like 10 pounds off the trolley. <laughs> I'm gonna go out, trying to get something to eat because uh, I am starving. My lunch was a pancake. I mean, really? So, yeah, it is what, like four something? So, I'm gonna change into new clothes and uh, head out and explore the town a little bit. So, I just got back from uh, exploring the town and today i really am beat i'm tired man i had a what was it like a chicken kebab with fries and a very nice plate and a soda for dinner went to a camera store just to check around look around and uh, now i'm back it's uh it is like 7 30 and i think i'm gonna call it a night because i am exhausted from today's walk for the first time in a month so uh yeah looking forward to tomorrow and i think tomorrow there might be a chance of uh, rain so breakfast is at 7 30 i should be out by 8. drying my clothes right now all right guys see you tomorrow <laughs>